Hello everyone, welcome to this short video about trigger finger. In this video we're going to talk about the most important definition, etiology, symptoms, diagnosis and the treatment of the disease. Trigger finger is a type of tenosynovitis, which is an inflammation of the tendon called tendinitis and its surrounding synovial sheath called synovitis. The inflammation usually occurs due to excessive stress on that part of the tendon, but it can also be due to other diseases. Patients with diabetes mellitus have a much higher chance of contracting trigger finger, for example. The disease affects one of the flexor tendons of a finger. The two most commonly affected fingers are the first and the fourth finger, but it can occur in any of the fingers. When the flexor tendon and its synovial sheath gets swollen and inflamed, they can get attached to one another. When this occurs, the finger goes into a flex position and it can be very hard to extend it again. The classical trigger finger is seen when a finger is locked in a flex position. The finger can be extended, but in order to do so, you must use excessive force and it can be quite painful. The pain can vary all from mild pain and to quite severe pain. When extending the finger, at one point a snapping sound can be heard and beyond that the finger can be easily fully extended again. For the diagnosis, these classical symptoms are enough to diagnose the disease. Another last symptom that's important to know uh, is that there might be a palpable nodule somewhere along the tendon of the affected finger. This nodule is where the inflammation and thereby the problem comes from. An early treatment that can be done when the inflammation still occurs uh, is to inject glucocorticoids like cortisone directly into the affected area. This can reduce the inflammation so that full-blown trigger finger does not occur. You can also give NSAIDs like ibuprofen in order to slow down the inflammation further. Later, when the symptoms are more permanent and severe, surgery is the way to go. The surgery is quite simple and what you do is to cleave the synovial sheath at the affected area so the tendon gets released. If successful, the tendon will again be able to glide normally, so normal function will be resumed. Thank you for watching. I hope the video has been educational for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment them below. Cheers.